Uh, so folks, Alan isn't joining us tonight. Uh, he's off in a uh, some sort of professional dilly dally. I don't even know what the hell they call. What do they call that shit? A uh, 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 retreat? No, no conference. It's where you go oh, lamer than that. You go into a room with other other professionals and you mingle. A mixer? Um, I could. Isn't a mixer dating? Hmm. He had the word. I don't know. He's off. No. He's not here tonight, but the show must go on. And as you folks may have heard, joining us from the Big Apple, uh, longtime guest. Happy to have you back, Mr. Adam Calvert. Happy to be here. Adam, listen, you're a Knicks fan, right? Yes. And apparently uh, Spike Lee, long time. He's, I mean, he is the face of Knicks fandom. Correct. Uh, yeah, I agree. I mean, yeah, he's he's, eight, he's he's patient zero of uh of, of, <laughs> of Nick, Nick fandom, and uh, uh, so he goes into a game about a week a week ago. Uh, turns out he went to the wrong entrance and they boot him out. Have you heard anything about this? I mean, you're kicking Spike Lee out of the game is like kicking uh, I, I Jack don't know. Nicholson out of the Lakers game. That's right, or kicking the the, the Pope out of Vatican City. Yeah, although that has happened. <laughs> They've kicked a pope out of Vatican City. <laughs> but uh, but, but well, I agree. Uh, well, well ahead, the one man. thing I heard was, was that he tried to use the employee entrance. Like, he felt privileged enough to use the employee entrance. And they said, oh, listen there, Mr. Lee. We are more than happy for you to be uh, our super fan. But you are, in fact, not an employee. And though you have reached this status symbol in American iconography, you're not allowed to be in the employee entrance of the Knicks facility. And he got uh, a little indignant about it. So the question is, should Spike Lee be allowed to use whatever entrance he wants because he's Spike Lee? Well, all right. I would say yes, but I wouldn't fault somebody for saying no. But I think what the, the, the issue was and uh, what's so indicative of how bad the Knicks are run is that okay? So Spike had been apparently in that entrance for almost thirty years, rather than the regular VIP entrance. Now, when he goes in there, the guard tells him that you can't come in here as an employee, which is fine. If 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 you know the next MSG want to stop Spike Lee from using that, tell him to use the employee one. That's fine. But the way they handled it, and the way they handled the fallout, even more so, is the problem with the next. I mean, they immediately issue some statement saying Spike Lee is mischaracterizing this and he's to blame and he's an asshole and yada. I mean, this this super aggressive um, stance towards their biggest fan. And they did the same thing with Oakley a couple of years ago. Free they Oakley. Numerous fans out of games for booing Dolan. It, it's just when you're this bad of a team, you can't also be um, – stuck up about it <laughs> you know you got to be a little a little easier with the fans especially number one fan do you think it would have worked if spike lee uh once a, once he realized he wasn't going to get in through this entrance if he had said i'm motherfucking cousins with bruce lee motherfuckers do you think if that do you think that would have worked at all uh i don't know he's what, like five six so <laughs> bruce lee was like five seven he wasn't a big guy he could kick some fucking ass um well yeah i mean i think this i mean spike probably shouldn't have gotten up, upset about them telling him to use a different entrance as he did but you know like i said just the way they handle it and they you know post some picture they took some aerial photograph of him shaking hands with dolan when dolan came over to him in the middle of the game it basically just kind of uh almost setting him up to get this handshake you know uh photo so that the mix can say oh look at this spike said everything is okay and it was his fault for using that entrance. <laughs> you know, that sort of mindset. I mean, if they had just said, um, you know, after it happened, if they had just said, you know, we had a, a, an incident with Spike Lee, there was a misunderstanding and we apologize. We love our fans and especially our number one fan, Spike Lee, you know, that would be the end of it. But no, they didn't do that. They, they came out and tried to make Spike Lee the villain and all of this, just like they did with Oakley, right. which resulted in several lawsuits. Um, so that's just not the way to handle it, especially when you have the, the worst winning percentage in the last 20 years of any NBA team. Oof. Oof. You think um, <clears throat> this may have been like a good teaching moment for uh, 
for those who have kids where if someone were to say, uh, you know, your child would say, well, dad or dad or mom, you know, Spike didn't uh, d- didn't do what a fan does. Fans go through particular entrances. They don't have special treatment. And you say, listen, uh, Johnny, uh, life isn't spare. Life isn't fair. Uh, Spike Lee's important, and we're not. Yeah, uh, Spike gets yeah. to go through he, uh, any interest he wants. He can use a yeah, janitor. He's above, he's above VIP level. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, well, that's, that that's my problem with this is that like Spike Lee is like double MVP, double. You know, like he's. <laughs> He's more valuable for than the more valuable uh, vans that are allowed. Like, I'm not allowed to use the VIP entrance. Spike Lee's not only above using, he's above using the VIP entrance and then gets indignant when he's not allowed to use the VIP entrance. Then uh, the VIP entrance is below Spike Lee. Like, <laughs> I get it. I get what you're saying, Adam. Like, you know, mm. they're a shitty team. They should take what they can get. But shouldn't Spike Lee just be like, all right, guys, you know, I appreciate all the access I've had over the years. I'll go use I'll go use the commoners and the commoners celebrity entrance. No. Well, yeah, I do. I do agree with that. But the way that they handled trying to get him to do that, if they had wanted him to use that, they should have told him before, knowing that he's been using this employee entrance for almost 30 years now. You know, they should have said, hey, Spike, you know, we got a change in policy, uh, insurance reasons, you know, those damn lawyers, they they want you to use the the VIP, not the employee entrance, you know, but no, <laughs> giving, just wait, just till, wait, wait till he shows up and then, you know, get, get into an argument with him and then subsequently. Is that Spike? Is that Spike Lee you're playing with right there? <laughs> is that Spike himself? Mm <laughs> Yeah, I just think you're giving Spike Lee uh, more credit than he's probably due. That that's all. I mean, it's his fault for liking mm. a shitty team. He should expect shitty treatment. Nah, he's got the ultimate. He's got the ultimate car. He could be like, motherfucker, I'm Mars Blackman. Yeah. Do you know the fuck? Do you know who the fuck I am? <laughs> Semi fictional. Well, you know what I don't get is that he said that he's not going to go to any more games this year, but he'll be back next year. Which I don't understand that. I mean, you know. <laughs> What is is Demi Dolan still going to own the team next year? So why does that change anything? Because yeah, you... next year they'll probably build him his own entrance, the Spike <laughs> Lee uh, Memorial entrance, with a big spike. He has to hop over. It's like a turnstile, <laughs> like in uh, like in that uh, what's that Pitfall or uh, was that Atari game with the alligators? A little... <laughs> it's a Frogger. Frogger, no, probably. No. It was like uh, you had to like swing a swing a rope over top of little alligators and pits and things like uh, that. Pitfall sounds sounds was, sounds correct. Yeah, it was called Pitfall. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so so yeah, he's not going to go any more games this season, Calvert. You think uh, think we could score some uh, some tickets on the cheap? I think we could hit up Mister yeah, Blackman. We and, just uh, got to use the right entrance, though. But you know, oh I think hell. I'll come into the third quarter. Low, they had their lowest attendance in fourteen years last night. Which was like sixteen thousand people. Ah, shit! They're still still doing well. I mean, it's like ten, yeah, how many, <laughs> every, every people Manhattan has. So they're competing with the Orioles now at basketball <laughs> games. <laughs> Bomber. Well, I I, I wish uh, Mr. Lee, Mr. Bruce Leroy, and that whole uh, constituents the best. 